Barton Fink, thank you for a $5 super chat. If my battery voltage is really low, but I still have over half my milliamp hours available when I land, what does it mean? Um, it, it means that your belief about how many milliamp hours your battery has is incorrect. Okay. Battery voltage is how you know when your battery's empty. Period. Period. Think of it this way. Let's say that your gas gauge on your car says that your tank is half empty. And then suddenly your car goes sputter, 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 and stops and stalls out. You're out of gas. It doesn't matter. Your gas gauge was wrong, right? Your milliamp hours is just an estimation of how many milliamp hours the battery can provide. If the battery is old, if the battery has high internal resistance, if it's cold outside, you'll get less milliamp hours. In my opinion, you should be first and foremost be looking at your voltage. That's a fact. Because when the voltage gets down to, for a lithium polymer battery, around 3.2, 3.3 volts, for a lithium ion battery, around 3.0 volts, you're very close to the end of your flight, no matter how many milliamp hours you think you've pulled. The other thing to keep in mind is that the current sensor, the milliamp hours are based on the current sensor, and a lot of the time the current sensor is not calibrated. If I really cared about accurate milliamp hours, I would calibrate the current sensor so that the milliamp hours wouldn't be known to be accurate. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that you can't trust what's on the label of the battery. The battery says it's 5,000 milliamp hours. Well, who, you, you need to verify that that's correct. The place where milliamp hours become really important is when you need to know if you're going to get where you're going or if you're going to be able to get home. So let's say you're doing a long range flight, which is totally not legal in the United States. But let's say you're, you're outside the USA, you're visiting Mexico and you're going to do a 20 kilometer flight and you start flying and you go one kilometer and you've used uh, a quarter of your milliamp hours. Well, obviously, you're not going to make 20 kilometers and you're going to turn around and come home. Let's say you're flying and you're you're halfway through your flight and you're thinking, should I turn around and come home or should I keep going? You can't answer those questions with battery voltage alone. You have to know milliamp hours. But for that to work, you need to know that your milliamp hours are accurate. You need to have your current sensor calibrated and you need to know how many milliamp hours are actually in the battery. And only through experience will you know those things and be able to work with them. So probably the milliamp hours you're seeing are just completely off for any of these reasons.